Welcome back to your Football Manager channel. This is FM Pepe. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hey there, guys. Welcome back. I'm FM Pepe. This is your team preview, and today we're looking at Bournemouth. We've been in the Premier League a few years now, and we're going to have a look at what their expectations are. They're still at Dean Court with 11,464 capacity, three and a half star reputation. The media predicts they're going to finish 14th, and Jason Tyndall is the assistant. So, technical director as well, which is like a director of football, uh, is Richard Hughes. So they tend to play a 4-4-2 with... Uh, Wilson and King up front which is quite a good combination really you're not gonna you know find a strike partnership I suppose that's uh, better than that in sort of that bottom half of the Premier League sort of from 11th downwards uh, they got Dan Numa on the left Fraser on the right Fraser normally plays on the left hand side though um, Smith and Rico as the full backs Nathan Ake and Cook at centre half with young Ramsdale in goal so their expectations they want to play possession football and attacking football you are going to be required to work within the wage budget and finish mid table but they have a 5th round minimum FA Cup target and a 4th round Carabao Cup uh, target minimum uh, to me, that should probably be the other way around, to be honest with you. They should be looking at Carabao Cup more realistic than the FA Cup. So, let's get out of the boardroom. Let's go have a little look at the squad. So, my opinion, and it's just my opinion, the best... <laughs> The best starting eleven you could probably go with is Arta Boric in goal uh, as, as a sweeper keeper who attacks. You've got Adam Smith at right back, um, Stevie Cook and Nathan Ake at centre half, and Charlie Daniels at left back. I think still a very good play at thirty two. Jefferson Lerma and Philip Billings in middle of midfield. David Brooks on the right and uh, Ryan Fraser on the left hand side and then you got Joshua King and Callum Wilson up front and that I think is probably your best start in 11 with Ramsdale on the bench, Francis, Kelly, Harry Wilson, Sermon, Ibe and Solanke on the bench. That's not bad to be honest, that's pretty good. Um, if I was looking to improve this team I think you'd probably maybe try and get like a quality left back, um, maybe like a Juan Miranda at Barcelona or a uh, Kieran Tierney um, uh, who's now at Arsenal and maybe maybe kind of um, try to find a more creative midfield player. Uh, who can play in a number 10 to give you an option of playing one up front um, playing Callum Wilson there and then maybe a number 10 here I think that that would be pretty good I mean you could always play Josh King in this number 10 role here um, not that he wants to play it see he wants to it can be a shadow striker but you've got Harry Wilson who could possibly go in there David Brooks maybe yeah Brooks probably fits that better and then Wilson on the right hand side um, so yeah you could possibly go and look for number 10 and go look for a left back and go look for a central midfielder and that would improve uh, your side immeasurably now Outside of that 18-man squad, you do have um, Jack Stacey 
as cover for right back. Uh, Chris Meppham uh, is a good centre half as cover. You got Jack Simpson there as well, who's quite decent. Um, and Diego Rico as well. I would sell Diego Rico. He's valued at ten and a half million. He's getting paid thirty five grand a week. I don't think he's worth it. Um, <laughs> tackling ten, marking ten, heading ten. Um, not the best. So definitely go get a left back. Sell Diego Rico. Um, central midfielders. You got Lewis Cook, who I probably would let go as well. Um, maybe sell him, raise some funds. Uh, Dan Gosling's all right. Probably keep him in the squad for a year or so. Um, Sam Surridge. I think you could probably keep around. He's only twenty. He might develop. It's like a fourth choice striker. He's still got Solanke, Wilson, and uh, King there. So all in. I think Bournemouth. They're not. They're not a bad side at all. And let's have a look at the finances. So you're going to be given 12.75 million in the transfer budget. They are going to keep 75%. Uh, sorry, they're going to give you back 75% of anything you raise. Um, let's see if they can uh, increase transfer budget. No, they're not going to do that. <laughs> Make board request. Improve training facilities. Nope, they're not going to do that either. So let's have a look. Improve data analysis facilities. Nope, so the board aren't really willing to do anything. Uh, you've got 50, 60 grand wiggle room in the wage budget. But like I say, 12.75 million. And then if you go sell Diego Rico, who's valued at 10 million, and you go sell um, Lewis Cook, who's valued at 14 million, say you get say you get 20 million for the pair of them, and you perhaps reinvest that money. Say you sell Junior Stanislas as well, raise 30 million. Add that to your 12.75, you got yourself 40 million, 43 million, somewhere in that region. That should actually remove about 100 grand off the wage bill as well. So that'll give you a little bit of wiggle room. Now, the plus side with Bournemouth, and it is a really good plus side, is they've only got Harry Wilson on loan uh, from Liverpool, and I think they might have an option to buy him. But because they've only got him on loan, there is a chance you could go to Liverpool and maybe try and get a couple of players off them. Um, maybe try and get Adam Lallana, um, you know, on loan. Um, maybe uh, have a cheeky little nibble at Shakiri. You know, you never know your luck. Um, but basically see here they're looking at um, some young players right midfielder there he's one that could develop Lee Kang in from Valencia he's interested they don't want to sell let's see what they'd be looking at 40 million they want for him yeah <laughs> so you're probably not going to get him Max Ahrens it's a good player to keep an eye on I don't think you'll be getting him though um, Let's do a quick little player search for Bournemouth. Let's have a look who's interested in a loan move. I see you got Jack Wilshire, Manuel Lanzini. Uh, they do pretty well. Matt Ritchie, maybe take him back down to Bournemouth. Um, he could do well. Andrew, Andre Gray uh, is another player. Um, Timothy Fosu Menza. Yeah, not so much. Um, Emil Kraft. No. Yeah. So there's, there's a few players there you could have a little look at. Um, I think there's always, always the odd player here and there that you can find that perhaps you wouldn't have 
you know, initially um, looked at and thought, oh, I'll have him, and then see someone like Birum Kyle here, he's available on loan. And there's a few good players there, so keep your eye out on the loan market. It's definitely worth a little look. Um, you never know what little bargains you can find, what who you can pick up. And hopefully, like I say, the right long signings and uh, one or two uh, transfers out. And you should be able to improve upon this 11. So, good luck to you. Hope you enjoyed playing. Like I say, it's just a little preview in the Bournemouth, what the expectations are, the money you have, the kind of options you're going to get, the players you're going to work with, and hopefully it gives you a little insight into Bournemouth. Alright, take care of yourself, enjoy, enjoy the game, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care of yourself.